as a 14 year old boy, started working as a DJ, and I actually sang live a few times on the air and got in trouble. And I realized at that time that I'd rather sing the songs than spin them. Every paycheck after that, I'd go right down to the music store, buy tape after tape, read the back, so I knew who produced every record, I knew who the writer was, so I just studied it more than I did school. but specifically country music. I remember dad pulling over one time and he was playing these old 60s songs and we weren't digging it. He said, all right, I, got, I wanna go buy this new album that just came out. He went and bought Conway Twitty album and put that in. And there was a song called, Happy Birthday, darling. Got no presents, no fancy cakes. And I fell in love with that song. I rewound that song. And then I, that whole album I just fell in love with. And I realized that every time I hear a song that, that everything around me was like, Dawn, I, I was just paying attention. I would just zoom into the song. It just, it made me happy. It brought me joy. It's something for me to always go to, just to kind of get away, meditate, just with music. I'd go in my car and listen to, and drive around and listen to Merle Haggard and just make my day. And it wasn't until 1999 that we finally had our first child. There's a Doug Stone song called I Never Knew Love, No, I Mean Real Love. Till this moment with you, I don't mean to cry. I was going to stop that, but let me start over right there. But anyway, I never knew love. I mean, real love. When I saw that baby, it, it just stopped me in my tracks. And at that moment, I said, I have a kid now. I can't do this music thing anymore. I need to get a real job. Moving to Nashville, to me, wasn't growing up because that, that was something I should do as a, as a single guy. But then here comes my wife in 2002 saying we need to move to Nashville. He moved next door to me when we were teenagers. So for him, the first time I heard him sing, I knew it was something special. It wasn't just, oh, this person has a really great voice. This person had something, you know, like a purpose beyond just singing. I'm so glad I listened to her. If I hadn't listened to her, I don't know where I'd be today. I'd probably be today. I'd probably be right now. I did the right thing by marrying her and, and, and doing this business. Times I've I've reached my city limit, and nowadays I know where to go. Come over here, sit on a rock, bring a guitar, start a song or two, and just unwind, take the stress out, and just relax. That's what I'm grateful for. Is that I grew up here, and I'm able to come back and show my kids my roots. I like his voice and his style, and his creativity. He's pretty driven. Like if he wants to do something, he'll like he'll do it. I just kind of want the world to know this is this is uh, this is what I do. This is me, and this is this, this is all you're gonna get. I guess.